Right, guys, let's continue with question 5. So, question 5.7.2. Let's go to our question paper. It says anticipated decrease in fatalities equals the number of fatalities multiplied by anticipated decrease, which is in cell B2. Use absolute cell reference. So, now here you are just going to type in the formula, which is your equals to sum. Okay, close bracket. B5 multiplied by B2. So in order for yourself not to make any mistakes with the ones that you are going to do then after. Like I, as I always say that you, need, you have to do this shortcut by pulling down and dragging everything below. There are going to be some faults that are going to be along the way because your cell is not blocked. So in this case you need to block this cell. So you're just going to type in this whole thing and then you're going to click on F4. As you're going to see, your figures are going to change. Your formula is going to change. I'll click on Enter. When you're done, go back to the cell. Double click on this and pull it down. So these figures are going to show. But if you didn't do, if you didn't block the cell, I'm going to show you just now what would have happened. So, maybe this would have happened in the, in the exam room as you didn't make these changes to your work or to your... So, 231. So, if you're going to come here and double-click and do it this way. See, these we're going to show, and these are not allowed. So let's go back and do it the right way this time. Click on F4. The first row of your keyboard is this escape. Let me just show you on the keyboard here. It's taking a bit low, a bit slow. Okay, let's see. It should be here somewhere. Yes. So on this keyboard, it doesn't show all the Fs. Usually, it's up here just above these on your keyboard just above number four it's going to be f4 so you're going to click on that so that you can block the cell so that everything won't be a mess from here on going forward in 5.7.2 it's done So 5.7.3 says total number, sum of fatalities, and sum of injuries number. Let's look at the sum of fatalities. Sum of fatalities, which is this block, the D block. Um, and sum of injuries, which is the number. Of injuries so you're gonna put all these together let's see any question paper what does it say 5.7.3 so you're gonna calculate both these here so you're just gonna say So 
is how you do it. We're going to do the same with this one as well. Excel needs time sometimes, but you just need to be patient with yourself and keep practicing. Make time for you to practice all the time. Then you're done with question. Um, 5.3, 5.7.3, and then 5.7.4. Average anticipated, average difference in fatalities, injuries. So, 5.7.4, which is this. So, we're going to calculate all these. So for this instance here, I'm just going to say error. Average. Open bracket. you do it. I hope I'm not too fast. That is your 5.7.4. Now you're going to calculate the highest percentage injuries. This is high percentage injuries. 5.7.5 percentage for injuries is going to be here. So I'm going to say max. is going to be zero. So don't be shocked when such figures pop up. That's what you have been given and you need to work around that. So here we want the lowest sorry, lowest number of injuries, smallest number of injuries. So we're just going to say open bracket. Oh, sorry. Open bracket and close your bracket. So that figure is going to pop up. Okay, let's move on to the second uh, question, which is 5.8. So it says use autofill to insert the formula in the cells indicated by the rows, which we just did just now. Formulate the figures in G and cell F13 to integers, no decimal. So, um, figures in G, and uh, these are your figures in G, it says format the figures in column G and cell F13, F13 into two integers, no decimal. So. This is how you're going to do it. You're just going to come up here and 
choose this option then it's going to say numbers decimal place 2 so now it says with no decimal this is how it should be with no commas this is my way of doing it and with all this column G highlight it all and make sure that it's there are no decimal or commas there okay so it says adjust the column width to ensure that the spreadsheet fits on the A4 landscape page and all data can be read. So now we want to put this into a landscape. It's no more portrait anymore. It's going to be in a landscape. This is how it's going to be. And then it says insert borders horizontal and vertical for the new columns and row of which we just did and insert a thick up outer border is indicated in row 12 we did it already here's a thick up border and save the document as question 5 according to the college examination regulations so your document is in a landscape um, layout. So we're just going to save it as question. As question 5. Then your document is saved. Alright, so that what, that's one thing that I wanted to show you guys. And the question paper instructs you and the question paper instructs you of these of things such as highest lowest average total and all of these you need to know your formula you need to know your formulas and your formulas you need to practice doing your formulas and you need to be well aware of them because the question paper might say it's the highest and you will be thinking other things where else okay I'm just gonna put in some here let me just say so you can just write it this in your notebook Usually when it says high, you're gonna you key in equals to max. <coughs> Just gonna make a space here in between. Okay. It doesn't allow me. Let me look for moving too fast so usually when it says when the question paper says know that your formula is max and it says low your formulas will be min when you type in ever when it says f you need to type in the whole word that is ever